Mum and I named him Frank in the Bank on that first day. I don't know where Frank came, but it rhymes. And he's still called Frank. Frank was found near Tambar Springs in 1979. I've just spotted this bit of bone sticking out of the creek. Oh, what's that? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Just finding this part of the jaw here, the corner. Dig, dig, big teeth, big molars like that, enormous molars, thinking it might have been a, an, a, an ox or a bullock from the bullock drays in the old days, but then found the two big bottom teeth. Thought, no, definitely not that. Scientists, including Dr Robert Jones from the Australian Museum, were on site within days, confirming Frank was a diprotodon. We dug it around and exposed the skull and encased it in plaster, protect and hold it together so we could then take it back to the museum and then work on it back at the museum to clean it up. It's probably one of the best diprotodon skeletons that had been found up to that stage. News of the discovery went around the world. In the national papers, there was an enormous amount of interest and, in, you know, the scrapbook shows from nearly every country in the world, there was an article about it. In the paleontology world, it was a huge story, apparently. Mm. Dr Jones says much has been learned about the diprotodon from excavations all over Australia. They're about the size of a, a rhinoceros, I suppose, but they were herbivorous animals and they had soft feet. And uh, so, you know, they wouldn't have harmed you in any way as long as they didn't stand on you and um, because they would have been heavy. Louise had her own thoughts. Apparently six foot at the shoulder, you know, two metres at the shoulder, sort of like a big wombat. But, yeah, it would have been just a big cuddly thing, I reckon. I sort of feel like he'd be just a gentle giant. That gentle giant is on permanent loan to the Coonabarabran Visitors Centre and research continues to discover if man was responsible for Frank's death roughly 44,000 years ago. So we did find on the bones that we dug up one rib bone which near the end of it had an impact mark on it. An impact that had been made by a point of some sort. Now we can't say for certain that it was made by a spear point, but it looks like it's been made by a hard point. And they're also on some of the backbone, the vertebrae, there appears to be cut marks.